Hello. Uh, today I was working and uh, one of my um, processes went down today um, and it had to do with TLS 1.2. Uh, apparently there's, we had a console app that downloaded stuff from Eventbrite and I just wanted to give a heads up that if your app is no longer connecting to uh, I don't know to any uh, online service uh, through the web client um, one of the number one suspects is that uh, you need to upgrade that communication to uh, TLS 1.2 uh, they've done more than enough to let us all know but you know uh, I happen to have a a console app uh, created in C sharp uh, running on um, 4.0 framework. Um, the good news is 4.0 and above there is a <laughs> definite solution. Anything below, you know, the recommendation is just upgrade. But this was just an old console app that stopped working and it was kicking my butt. And uh, I was going through the code, and I'm like, okay, this isn't wrong. This is, I think this was written pretty solid. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on here. And I remember we had this talk. Uh, my team had to talk about this uh, at a different company about uh, the protocol changing. And um, I guess at this new company that I'm working at, uh, surprise! <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a website where I kind of got a clue. This is just from my research and I'm uh, just trying to help. Um, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, this is the site I went to. I'll leave it up there for a few minutes. Um, well, not minutes, seconds. So here we have a good example. Uh, this looks similar to the code I saw today where they're just making this call to the web client um, and then it does its thing in the stuff. Um, again, we're going to go back to this document. If you are, you know, dealing with framework 4.6 or 4.5, they have these nice little things that you could uh, set the security protocol type to TSL. 1.2 or 1.2 in this case um, but in this earlier version they do not have this type already predefined and so to achieve this exact same setting in 4.0 I think in uh, uh, this is what you would have to do um, set it like that and you just apply that setting right here underneath the string responding string responding response string oh okay that's uh, the data they've been getting back gotcha uh, just before you make this call and everything works as normal you don't have to do all the debugging crap I did today and pulling your hair out. If you have a more modern version of the framework, you'll actually get this as an option. But in my case, uh, for this particular app, it was one of the older ones. And I was like, oh, thank you, uh, Savior. And uh, I just thought that would help. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll share as much as I can about surviving in IT.